Hello, everybody. This is Tim again. I'm glad you've come down to hear about the trip I took with Mary Holiday, Hachi Pogli the Clown, Sleepy Slim the Lion, and Jump Jump of Holiday House to the North Pole to see what happened to Santa Claus. Wishing sound? That's the noise of the wishing star as it went shooting off to the North Pole, carrying us to see Santa Claus. It was like having all your dreams come true. This was really fun. Think of having a chance to have adventures with an elf three inches tall. Jump Jump was never still a minute, jumping up and down all over the silver cabin inside the star. <laughs> Think of being on the way to visit Santa Claus himself. I'd be able to ask him himself not to forget to come to the orphanage on Christmas Eve. I'll be right back in a minute to tell you just what happened. the clown was in the tip of the wishing star, riding it on, on its course, and Mary Holiday was knitting a tiny red sweater on two matchsticks for Jump Jump. Sleepy Sun and the Lion lay snoring on the floor as usual, and the poet sat gazing out into the sky. Every now and then he'd write something on the wall beside him, even though he had three notebooks in his lap, a pencil behind each ear, and three more sticking in his hair. He's, he was sighing every now and then, as if something hurt him. <laughs> Mary Holiday, does the poet feel all right? <laughs> because he sighs, Tim? <laughs> oh, yes. It's just his way of getting ideas for a poem. He says that he's got to catch the words that rhyme out of the air, like birds. Do words have wings? Do words have wings? Oh, no, Jump Jump. It's just a poetic way of saying finding and words. Did the words get lost? Oh, the words didn't get lost, Jump Jump. That's just an expression. Yes, the poet looks for the right word to make his poem say the thought that he wishes it to say. See? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold still a minute, will you please, Jump Jump? And let me see if your sweater is c going to be the right size. <laughs> Jumps all the time, doesn't he? Oh, yes. <laughs> no wonder his name is Jump Jump. How long do you think it will take to get to the North Pole? Well, that depends, Tim. To drive the wishing star, Archie Pogley has to concentrate on wishing. <laughs> That's what makes the wishing star go through the sky. If he has very strong wishes, the star goes fast. But if he can't think of much to wish about, then it might take us quite a while to reach the North Pole. Wish we, were there now. we all wish we were there now, Jump Jump. Poor Sleepy Slim even caught on to the star's tail and had to be hauled up by Archie Pogley the Clown. He was so anxious to see Santa Claus. You see, Tim, Santa has promised to make a doll for everyone at Holiday House. And the doll will look just the way we do. There'll be one for Sleepy Slim the Lion and one for Archie Pogley the Clown. And, of course, one for Jump Jump the Elf. We can hardly wait to see them. I want to see them, too. I want to see them, too. <laughs> you want to see them, too. Uh, jump Jump, don't lean over the edge of the star that way. Oh. <laughs> I 
I wonder if Sleepy Slim is dreaming Merry Holidays. Oh, Sleepy Slim. I think he has all sorts of dreams, Tim. Sleepy Slim says that's why he has to sleep so much, <laughs> to rest from dreaming. I think so much sleep would make him tired all over again. I think so too, Tim. Oh, oh, oh. I'd like a rhyme to go with time. A rhyme to go with time? Well, how about dime, poet? Ah, uh, crime. Crime? Oh, there's no such word as crime. Yes, crime is new. Yes, that will do. It's got a touch that will add much. It puts a tingle in my jingle. <laughs> Have you finished your rhymes now, poet? Will you read them to us, please? I've made a few. And since it's you, Miss Mary dear, I'll read one here. Is it about Christmas, poet? Not Christmas yet, but soon you bet. I'll rhyme of toys and girls and boys who laugh and play on Christmas Day. <laughs> this poem's a tune about the moon. Oh, that sounds nice, poet. And jump, 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 jump. Stop jumping. Sit still and listen. Do you believe the moon is cheese? Some people do, I know. Have they been there to take a bite? Supposing that it's so, why don't they dig a moon cheese mine and open up a store to sell it by the pound or slice? There'd always be tons more. I think it would be a great success, don't you? I wonder why somebody hasn't thought of it, and I'll take mine on rye. Oh, poet. That's wonderful, poet. Yes, that's wonderful. How do you think of all those rhymes? You have to be quime to find a rhyme. Oh, poet. Oh. <laughs> now, jump, jump. See what you've started with your quime? <laughs> jump, jump. Jump, jump. Oh, where is he now? Where did he jump to? I didn't hear him jump, Mary Holiday. Uh, look in your pocket, Tim. He may be hiding there. No. No, he's not in my pocket, Mary Holiday. Oh, I've got a verse. It's not my worse. Just one hour old and scarcely cold. <laughs> Excuse me, poet, but first I must find Jump Jump. Uh, Tim? Yes? Uh, please help me look for him. Yeah. Jump Jump! Will you pick up that cushion, please? Yes. Not there? No, he's oh. not here, Mary Look Holiday. behind the basket if you don't mind. No, not here. Oh, jump, 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 jump. Jump, jump. Stars are very yeah. shining. Stars are very bright. But it makes me unhappy when they shine just at night. I think it would be lovely if they twinkled all day through. They'd look like silver daisies sprinkled in the blue. Oh, oh. oh. Oh, look! There's Jump Jump, Mary Holiday. Wait, Tim, wait. He's walking tiptoe on one of the points of the wishing star. Oh, oh, the wind will blow him off. Oh, I'll call out and try to get him. Oh, no, wait, Jim, wait. The wind will blow you off, too. No, I'll ask Auntie Pocky to stop wishing for a minute, and then we'll slow down, and I'll be able to reach Jump Jump myself. Oh, Auntie Pocky, Auntie Pocky. A trip like this can hardly miss to fill uh, with glee a poet like me. Can't you wait a few minutes till we get Jump Jump back safely? I'd rather ride upon a star than take a trip by kitty car. And airplane speed is really pale compared to a comet's tail. All right, Tim, all right. Archie Pogley's slowing down. Jump Jump! Oh, Jump Jump, watch out, Jump Jump! Oh, Tim, he's jumping up and down. Oh. No, Jump Jump, no, don't jump, Jump Jump. Oh, my... Jump, jump, come here to the window. And do stop jumping. You'll tumble over, Star. He's talking yo talk again. He's excited, I guess. You can't catch me, Tim. You can't catch me. Oh, Mary Holiday, he's going to fall off. Oh, jump, jump's fallen off the wishing star. Oh, Tim. Oh, Tim. Oh, how will we ever find him in the sky? It's so big. Don't worry, Mary Holiday. I see him now. Where? Where? He fell into a white cloud just underneath Where? us. Where? I can see his red cap sticking out of the middle of it. See? He's all right. Oh, yes, I can see him now. Oh, I'll not let him out of my reach again until we land at the North Pole. Oh, Archie Pogley saw him. Archie Pogley saw him. 
Archie Fogley's turning the star around already, and we're gliding down toward that cloud. That's it. Hey, jump, jump. We're coming down. Don't jump. You'll go deeper into the cloud and we'll never find you. Here, let me have your knitting bag, Mary Holiday. Yes, all right, here. Scoop him up as we pass by. Oh, you did it, Tim. You did it. You got him. Oh, thank goodness it was a thick, fluffy cloud. Yes, you got him, Tim. I can see him wiggling inside the bag. <laughs> oh, jump, jump. Jump, jump. Am I glad to get you in my hand again? Oh, you, you elf, you. Oh, jump, jump. You're all wet from that misty cloud. Yes. I I I fell off, Mary Holiday. I fell off. You certainly <laughs> did fall off. I'm going to put this yarn around your waist like a harness jump jump and hold it tightly so that you won't go tumbling over star anymore. I <laughs> too. I only wanted to see if the moon was made of cheese. <laughs> now jump jump. You know the moon isn't made of cheese. You're just trying to find an excuse. And since you sneezed, I'm going to give you some hot lemonade as soon as we arrive at Santa Claus' house. You mustn't take cold. If I lived in the sky, in a castle in the air, I'd help hang out star lanterns and gild the sunbeam's hair. I'd have a nice cloud dragon to guard the castle door. And a fence made out of lightning. Now who could ask for more? The sun would be my heater. The moon, my lamp, that's plain. On birthdays and on picnics, I'd never let it rain. I'd put my money in a cloud bank. How safe it would be there if I lived in a castle away up in the air. So we had our little adventure along the way. The poet went on making poems, Sleepy Slim went on sleeping, and Mary Holiday went on knitting. Chump Chump was pretty good after that, and sat telling me what he wanted for Christmas, and slowly, too. Why, he, he even taught me to sing his song with him. He's a little elf, yes, sir, he. Feel your tiny as you see. He never walks, he never runs. Your wee jump, it's much more fun. His name is Jump Jump, jolly little Jump Jump. Work is always play. He's quick as the wind, and a very best friend. It's Mary Holiday. <laughs> now be sure and meet me here again tomorrow, because I want to tell you what happened when we arrived at the North Pole. Goodbye. Goodbye.